Hi, I'm Maria and welcome back to Bake Bites. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a cake using the hottest trend in the cake scene right now, the upside down drip. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my sweet cakes. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's get decorating. Okay, so I'm starting off with two five inch cakes and I'm gonna level them off at one inch a cake level. So using your ruler, I'm going to mark at one inch and at two inch all around the cake. Making sure your ruler is flush against the cake as well as vertical against your cake board. And then use those guidelines to cut your cake. So just gently. You're really not doing any of the work here, using your knife to guide, guide it through and your turntable to do the rotation. Okay, so once your cake layers are cut, I'm going to give them a, a good soak with my simple syrup. And this particular simple syrup is one part sugar, one part water and a quarter of a cup of rum. I've given it a boil um, for three minutes and I've let it cool. Now don't be alarmed, kids can eat these cakes. I've cooked out the alcohol. So don't be too scared by adding um, spirits in your simple syrup. It just leaves a beautiful flavor, but not the alcohol component. For this particular cake, I'm using um, acrylic discs because I want to create um, the upside down drip. So grab your disc and a little bit of buttercream. I've just got some in a piping bag, but it's not necessary. Just a, a blob, <laughs> the technical term. Just a little bit of buttercream so you can attach your baking paper securely on there. just to attach it on your acrylic. Okay, so let's just pop that to the side now and we are going to pop our slip mat and our board and we're going to pop our acrylic disc on top of that and have the baking paper facing on top. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> So we'll grab some buttercream and what this buttercream is going to be, it's going to be the top of our cake. Okay, so we're going to pop a decent amount of buttercream on that. And we're going to, whoops, sorry guys. Make sure you pop some um, slip mats on top of that as well, on top of your board and between your board and acrylic so it doesn't move. And Okay, we're fine. All right. It's all happening now. <laughs> okay, don't be too concerned. The way it looks. So we've got our generous amount of buttercream on the bottom and what we're going to do now is place our cake layer. So one of our cake layers, just any cake layer and pop that as centered as you can. So you basically want to have it as centered on the acrylic as you possibly can because 
that's going to be the width of your buttercream around the board. So I might just move it a little bit slightly. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So I'm using buttercream and ganache. So with your buttercream in a piping bag, I'm just creating a well or a, a border, maybe a bit of explanation. And with with your ganache, I'm just popping a generous amount to fill that. So, just with your spatula, it's going to be a bit temp temperamental. Just coax it towards your buttercream if you get it mixing it's fine it all tastes delicious done so now let's pop our next layer of cake okay so we have that level and on top so again with our piping bag we're just gonna create a really nice barrier so we can fill with chocolate ganache who doesn't love ganache or chocolate in general and it it will want to come off the cake don't freak out too much. Just with your offset spatula, coax it to the side or to the edge of the buttercream. Just fill it in. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to add our third layer. Again, pop it straight on top of your last cake. Make sure it's straight. You need to press it down. Press it down. That looks good to me. So again, grab our piping bag. Again, going back in with our ganache. Again, don't freak out if it starts to pull away. Using your offset spatula, just use it to guide the ganache. Okay. So now we're onto our last layer of cake. Again, flip it around so your flat surface is facing up and you're gonna gently pop it on the, your bottom layer cake. And that looks pretty pretty good to me. So we've got a little bit of buttercream that's just um, poking out of the sides. So just with my offset spatula, um, I'm just flattening it down. This is not a necessary step at all when you use the acrylic disc, but it's something that I'm used to doing, so it's just habit really. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now is place your acrylic on top of your cake and making sure it's centered but you also want to make sure that it's even see how that's not really straight but that that consistency between is even see that and just by using a bench scraper you can test that and I'm happy with that. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is fill in with buttercream. So what you're going to do, just pop your hand gently on your cake and you're basically just filling in the gap. These discs 
are pretty amazing. Okay, so you want to now fill in the bottom. So just with your bench scraper, we want to use the acrylic to smooth off our cake. And you can see how it really cleans off the board. <laughs> so if there's empty gaps, use your buttercream to fill it. Again, go back with your bench scraper. Okay, so we're just going to pop the cake in the fridge to firm up for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to remove the acrylic off the bottom there. And don't worry too much about the buttercream lifting up, off etc because we're covering it with the drip. Okay so we're just going to finish her off again, pipe as much finish as you want to create the specific look. And just if you want to go around you can. That's it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is grab our cake board and you want to kind of get down low a little bit to see that it's centered, which it is, and just press down. So what we're going to do now is pick up the cake and we're going to flip it. Are we ready? And flip. Just peel off gently your cake board and your little slip pads. And what we're gonna do now is grab another spatula. First off, we're just gonna just take off just that buttercream. Um, you can, again, pull it off like we were doing it before or just grab your spatula and just start the process. Is it coming off okay? That's okay. You may think that's a disaster, but that's fine. We had um, the buttercream come off, but that's okay. What we can do is with extra buttercream, you can just fill it in. And just with a spatula. You want to Now with just some meringue kisses that I made, I'm just going to pipe a little bit of that purple ganache in between. So, I'm not too sure if you can see me, can you see me? So just pipe 
that ganache in there and grab your kiss and just sandwich them together and just pop them on your cake. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing now with my white buttercream and some pink kisses. And some buttercream. So we have a few different tips and I might just pop some flowers just around. Okay, just the last one here. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some buttercream pink flowers. Just give it some dimension. Yep, I'm gonna pop some pink balls in the white flowers that I've just piped on. But this is a really cute and simple way to decorate a cake. How gorgeous does this cake look and how simple was it to create? Why not give this technique a try and share it with me on my socials? And let me know down below what you want to see next on the channel. Until then, I'll catch you next week. See ya.